I'm going to show you a classic physics demonstration that's been around for over 100 years. It's called the monkey and the hunter because it features a monkey sitting in a tree and across the way from him in another tree, a hunter. Now, according to the story, and remember it was written by physicists, the hunter is in a tree at exactly the same height as the monkey and pointing his gun directly at the monkey. But the monkey's not entirely foolish and has figured out what's going on. So he's come up with a plan. He's going to watch the hunter very closely and when he sees him pull the trigger, the monkey's going to let go of its branch and fall to the ground because he figures the bullet would just fly over his head. Now the question is, is the monkey right? And if not, why not? Let's see what actually happens. <laughs> I think I actually got it. Now, I wasn't really expecting to hit the monkey because this is quite a fiddly experiment to do, but let me quickly explain the setup. The monkey, as you've guessed, is just a tin can and it's held in place by an electromagnet which is connected via this circuit. When I fire the bullet, it breaks a piece of foil here, disconnecting the magnet so the monkey falls and it starts to fall the instant the bullet leaves the gun. So that explains the experiment, but can you explain the physics of why the bullet hits the monkey? The key to understanding this demonstration is the fact that the bullet and the monkey fall towards the ground at the same rate, the same acceleration due to gravity. So the bullet is at the same height as the monkey all the way across the lab. The fact that the bullet is also travelling horizontally makes no difference to how fast it falls. The horizontal and vertical components of its velocity are independent. Put it this way. If you just drop the bullet alongside the monkey, you'd expect them both to hit the ground at the same time. So why should the fact that the bullet's also moving horizontally make any difference? As you've seen, it doesn't. <laughs> 